Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the two toy poodles. In this video, we will be sharing with you the things you can expect as you welcome your very first poodle or your very first dog for that matter. I know how it is to bring home your very first puppy and I know it's a very, very exciting experience. But at the same time, it can be quite scary too. So we hope this video will help ease you through this new adjustment stage and maybe relieve some of your worries about your very new furry family member. So if you guys are interested in that, then please keep on watching. If you will like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe share the video. It would really help the channel. All right, let's get to it. All right, for the first one, training starts as soon as you bring home your puppy. I get this question very often. When should I start training my dog? Or should I wait until they complete their shots before I start training them, etc. I think this pertains to people who are planning to hire other people for their services to train their dogs, or maybe they're planning to send them to a dog training school or something like that. But let me clarify that training for me is basically just teaching your dog the set of rules that they need to know in order for them to, you know, fit in to your human lifestyle. Because dogs will be dogs and, you know, they act as, as a dog. And we can't expect them to know how to act in the human world. For example, potty train, as simple as potty training, they're trained to follow their instincts wherein they will mark their territory. And if you don't teach them where to go, then of course they're going to pee everywhere because they're marking their house. It's just their instincts. All right, so for the second point, potty training is not magic. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort, and it takes a lot of patience from you. And, you know, the time frame of potty training a dog is different from puppy to puppy, from breed to breed, and from, or dog, from dog to dog. But if you will ask me, for my two girls, I mentioned it many times, it only took me one to seven days for me to completely potty train them. And I'm very thankful for that. I think I got lucky because I wasn't the best potty trainer. Trust me, <laughs> I was just winging it. Yes, I've tried many things. I tried potty pads. I also tried the sprays and many other things. <laughs> but <laughs> I did stupid things too, like, um, I thought that if I bought the spray and then I just spray it, then automatically Summer would pee there. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't work that way. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I did a lot of um, stupid things <laughs> in the past as well. So if you guys are interested in how I potty trained my girls, I'll link up the video that I made for it up in the cards above and maybe in the description box below. So you guys can check it out after this video. Poodles' coats, as puppies, are naturally not curly. So yes, it's okay. Don't worry about it because I've been getting a lot of um, DMs in Instagram wherein people send me pictures of their puppies and they tell me that they're scared because they think that they didn't get a poodle because the coat is not curly. So guys, relax. They will get their curly coats as they mature. I think it's around 8 to 12 months. It depends from puppy to puppy. They will shift from their puppy coats to their adult coats. But trust me, you will miss the manageable puppy coats. And Poodle colors can change from puppyhood to adulthood. They naturally fade as they get older. So only true blacks and true whites are the colors that will not change. But everything else, um, red, apricot, what else? chocolate, and many other poodle colors, they tend to fade as they get older. And then sometimes they can either revert back to their old colors when they get really old or they will just keep fading all the way. It really depends and it's genetics. The perfect example of that is Summer. I actually got her as an apricot, almost golden pup because I wanted a golden retriever. <laughs> and then for some reason, she started fading as she got older. And people don't believe me that this was how she looked like as a puppy. But I promise, that's the exact same dog that I have right now. It just doesn't seem like it, but it is. So, 
people even <laughs> judged me for bleaching her. But I promise, it, I really didn't do anything. It's just genetics. Poodle puppies need a lot of exercise. I know that we are scared to sometimes bring our puppies out before their um, shots are complete. And that's totally understandable. And I'm not saying you have to bring them out. There are many ways for you to exercise your dogs at home because puppies are like balloons of energy. If they don't release that energy, they will just keep inflating until one day they will just explode. And that's where all these behavioral issues come in. The barking, the biting, the chewing on furniture, and etc. A simple way to exercise your puppy is just to play with them. You can play fetch or um, run around the house. Uh, just simple mundane things that you wouldn't think is exercise could be exercise for your pups. Even if your pup's um, shots are not complete, you can actually walk your puppy. As simple as walking them indoors or getting them accustomed to their leash is already considered a form of walk or exercise. From experience, it's even more tiring for puppies um, to do such activities because it exercises them both physically and mentally. It actually hits two birds with one stone because you're already setting them up for success when you introduce them to the outdoors. Poodle puppies tend to bite and chew, especially at a certain age. Puppies are like babies. They go through the teething stage, wherein they shift from their baby teeth to their adult teeth. It gets uncomfortable and it gets really itchy, and that's where the chewing thing happens. So one thing you can do is to encourage them to play with toys instead of those things. Another thing I did was I didn't play with my girls using my actual hand so that they will not think that my hand is a toy. Because I see a lot of pet owners wherein, you know, when they're two months old, you play with them with your hands and you use your hands as the toys. So the dog will naturally associate your hands as play. And it's cute and okay when they're still two months old. But the minute they start getting older, then it's a totally different story. And it can be quite painful or sometimes it can hurt both you and your pup. Always, always offer a toy um, when they're chewing on things that you don't want them to and make it exciting for them. Um, if they're chewing on, let's say, a furniture, I would give a firm no and then I will give the toy and then play with them. Sometimes owners just think, oh, give them a toy and they will just chew on that. Nope, it doesn't work that way. You have to make the toy exciting for them to get their attention to veer away from chewing some things that you don't want them to chew on and chew on things that you want them to chew on. So another thing you can expect is no groomers until the shots are complete. So depending on the groomer or your groomer, usually they don't accept them until they have complete shots or they're six months of age. It really depends. This means that you will have to be hands-on with grooming your puppy. Just because they're puppies doesn't mean they need any less grooming attention that they need as an adult. As a matter of fact, I think you should put more effort into grooming and making it um, like a natural fun thing that they will have to get used to because it's basically desensitizing them to the grooming tools that you will be using for them in the future. Um, I, got, I get a lot of comments that my girls are so calm when I groom them. It's because as early as two months old, the minute they got home, I would associate the grooming tools and the brushing tools to something positive. Sometimes while I brush them, I give them a treat that they gnaw on or something. Or um, they can ch while they're chewing their toy and playing with their toy, I would um, casually brush them. So that's how I desensitize the girls to grooming. And that way, when I start bringing them to an actual groomer, they're very, very comfortable in being handled. Poodles will naturally go through a very awkward fur stage. Um, there will come an age wherein your poodle's coats will just become unbelievably unmanageable. I'm not sure if I experienced that with Summer, but I significantly remember how bad it was for Bailey. Like she was just matting every single day. I, I couldn't understand why. And I was already brushing her at least two to three times a day that time. And she would still get mats for some reason. And I couldn't understand. 
And apparently that was the transition stage of when they changed from their puppy coats to their adult coats. So <laughs> there's really no solution to it than just brushing and you know, you just have to bear with it. It will pass. <laughs> Uh, just bear with it for a few months and it will be over sooner or later. For the last point, pups start maturing as early as six months. So females, for example, can start having their heat cycle as early as six months all the way to 12 months. For summer, she got it at around eight months, I think. And so did Bailey. If not, she got it at nine months. If it does come later than, you know, more than a year or a year and a half, it would be good to seek the advice of your vets because there might be something wrong. So I've mentioned before when they're in heat, this is when they get pregnant and where they can attract a lot of male dogs. So make sure you secure them inside the house. So for males, this is all as early as six months, they can get a female pregnant or they can seek out females. So make sure to secure them at home as well. If you have no plans of breeding or, you know, having puppies whatsoever, it would be a good idea to ask your vet, see what would be a good time for you and them to spay or neuter your dog. I personally spayed my girls at five years for Bailey, four years for summer. Yes, it was hard maintaining and having the heat cycle on a regular basis, but I did hear that um, they need their hormones as well. And seeing that, you know, I was sure that they're fairly secured at home and there's no chance of any accidental pregnancies, there was no reason for me to spay them right away. But again, it's really up to you. We all have different lifestyles and I would respect whatever decision you make so long as it is for the right reasons. So we hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something from it. I also hope that it eased or relieved some of your worries as you're transitioning with your new puppy. Feel free to comment down below if you have questions, um, concerns, or maybe things that you would want to share with us and the community um, about, you know, poodle ownership. It would really help. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we will see you again next time. Bye.